What's going on everybody? This is Jeff with Island Hopper TV and today I am coming to you from the Liberty Bell here in Philadelphia and I'm going to make a video that's going to do two things. One, it's going to talk about why is Philadelphia so damn expensive or is Philadelphia expensive and yes it is and it's also going to show you guys around Philadelphia. Here it is. The, uh, you know, what is this? September 17th, 2019. So let's talk about this. Why is Philly so damn expensive? And did I expect that? And what I've, what I've uh, discovered here is that renting a hotel in Philadelphia, it's a Tuesday night, by the way. It's not peak season and it's midweek. I just want to stay in central Philly. It's the same price as Zurich, Switzerland. And for those of you who travel, you know that Switzerland is the most expensive place next to Monaco and maybe some other places like Singapore and whatnot. Philly is more expensive than Singapore. Philly is probably, in terms of renting a hotel, uh, it is more expensive than hotels even in Zurich, Switzerland. So what's the deal here? Well, how does it work? So if you go on to hotels.com or booking.com and you just look to book a regular old hotel, you'll see in Central Philly they range from anywhere between 200 on the low side to $700. And you'll be going through the app and you'll see 350, 450, 210, 700, maybe you will 210, but it doesn't stop there. When it comes to taxes and fees, Philly has some of the highest taxes and fees also out there on the level of New York. And so I was asking the locals, I said, is there a convention going on? What's going on? The only thing I saw was that Joe, Bo Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders were in town doing some sort of union workers rally. I don't know if that's driving up prices, but I started talking to the hotel uh, clerks. I started talking to the Uber drivers. And what they said was over the last year or so, Philadelphia has just come under so much construction and really a boom. I mean, here it is Tuesday. You can see it's really busy down here. And so what is it? Well, a year ago, they also said that Philadelphia was going to be the new New York. Now, why, how did this come about? Well, as you know, New York's only about an hour and 30 minutes away by train, maybe quicker by car. But what happened is a lot of New Yorkers realized they were living in a sardine can in Manhattan and in that area. So all of a sudden they decided, hey, well, why not move to Philadelphia? And when they did that, it created a demand and a low supply was existing. And so Philadelphia has cleaned up its image. They built a lot, a lot of new things. And with all of the new construction and whatnot, it just created uh, high prices. So where does Philly kind of stack up in terms of other things like food? I will say this, the food hasn't been incredibly expensive. So, but that's probably only a matter of time before they realize that they're able to charge a lot more. For example, uh, the breakfast that I had this morning was, look at that, look at that. nice car, dude. <laughs> Um, 12, 1257 for an American breakfast with coffee, which I think is a pretty fair price. I had a Philly cheesesteak yesterday for about, you know, $13. And I got a haircut this, this morning for 16 with a beard trim and a shampoo, which is not <laughs> incredibly expensive. I mean, something like a breakfast in Switzerland is $30, $40, right? Seriously. A haircut in Switzerland is $34, so. So, yes, hotels are where you're gonna feel it the most when you're trying to stay in Central Philly. Now, obviously, if you go to the suburbs, prices are gonna drop because there's just not a demand. But when it comes to Central Philly, the supply is, is limited compared to what the demand has become. So they're able to charge a lot more. And then when you throw in the taxes, that's where you're really getting hit is in the accommodations. So I just wanted to go over that real quick in this part of the video. And now I'm going to show you around uh, Philly here on this beautiful afternoon. I showed up here last night. Um, and 
walked around. I might add some of that footage into this towards the end of the video if you want to see what Philly looks like at the night. But that's what the rest of this video is going to be about as I approach, which is where the Liberty Bell actually is. And you can probably see it from right here. This is the Liberty Bell. I didn't actually go in there. It looks like there's a line, but let's see here. You can barely see it with the GoPro, but it's right there. So let's go ahead and start this tour. Here is Broad Street. We just passed Locust.
Widener building. Maker building. Freemasonry. 